Hello everyone, this is Stepan and welcome back to Hanging Ponds. I'll continue the coverage of round 1 of the 2018 Candidates Tournament held in Berlin. Round 1 has just finished and all the games surprisingly have been extremely, extremely fun to watch and they weren't all boring draws as one would expect from such a major event as the Candidates Tournament. The players actually took risks and went all in in some occasions as well. Uh, this game was played between the two Americans in the candidates, Fabiano Caruana and Wesley So, who are among the youngest, but also among the most experienced of all eight players competing to, to play Magnus Carlsen later on in the year. Caruana was white in this game and he kicked off with 1d4. We have knight to f6 by Wesley So, not going for d5 classical. c4, e6 and g3, the Catalan opening by Caruana. An opening which is becoming more and more popular recently, perhaps because Alpha Zero applied it against Stockfish so successfully in their match, and many people are now considering it to be uh, the most precise uh, for White and the most then the opening that that could bring most advantage to White out of the first few moves. Uh, here, Wesso plays Bishop to B4 check, the most common move. Bishop to D2, Bishop to E7 retreating. The the goal was to provoke the the Bishop to develop to D2 and. To, and not to give that square for the knight or the queen. Bishop to g2, developing on the long diagonal. d5, immediately striking in the center. Knight to f3, and both sides castle. This is all common theory in the Catalan and the most common moves. c6, solidifying the center. Queen to b3, uh, perhaps preventing the development of the c8 bishop for the moment because the b, uh, b7 pawn would be hanging. Knight b to d7 and bishop f4, developing the bishop on an aggressive square. And here Vesso plays a5, an aggressive move which is preparing to create a pawn avalanche on the queen side and is gaining space and making white's uh, life a bit harder on the king side because he doesn't have as much time to create plans of his own. Here Caruana plays rook to d1, a move which isn't as accurate because the rook isn't doing that much on the d-file. Uh, knight to h5, gaining a tempo on the bishop, or if he doesn't move, wrecking white's pawn structure, the bishop does retreat to c1, and the knight goes back to, f to f6. Uh, and in this position, Caruana played an unusual move. The most common moves are a4, which is definitely justified because you have to uh, you you have to try to stop black's advance on the queen side. Or C takes D5, which would just relieve the, the tension in the center. Instead, Corona played the inferior Knight B to D7, which allows to be to D2. I'm sorry, which allows So to take the lead in the initiative and equalize comfortably. And he does play the most accurate and active move and the most aggressive move, B5. And here there is really no pleasant option for White. All three moves C takes B, C takes D, and C5 have weaknesses, but Caruana chooses, we could say, the lesser evil, evil move and plays c5, just closing the position and not allowing uh, So to take even more control on the queen side. Here uh, So plays b4, perhaps more accurate would have been a4, but this move also grabs more space on the queen side and, and pressurizes Caruana even more. Caruana replies with queen to c2 and a4. Now, it's definitely clear that black is cramping white down on the queen side and he has much more space and white didn't really get to do anything on the king side yet. Uh, Caruana plays rook to e1, deciding that the rook was badly placed on the d-file after all and admitting his mistake, which is often hard to do for many players and often in, in games you would get a sort of feeling of spite and just not... Uh, not wanting to admit your own mistake by moving the piece back and that that usually costs you perhaps even the full point. Uh, and Wesley Saw replies to this, you could call it loss of tempo by Caruana, with a horrible move completely underestimating the consequences of it and often central pawn breaks mean a significant change of the nature of the position and they need to be carefully considered. He plays e5 which it's a bad move, but it's not clear why it's bad yet. Uh, here we have knight takes c5, knight takes c5, d takes c5, and knight to d7. Wesley Saw is seemingly threatening two weak central pawns, but white is in time to defend and that's up, ends up having a much more comfortable position. He plays knight to f3, defending the, the e5 pawn, 
and we have bishop takes c5 and knight take and knight to g5 threatening the mate threatening mate on h7 crudely but effectively effectively provoking weakness and wesley replies with perhaps the only move the weakening g6 and f4 getting all of his pieces into the attack and putting the bishop back to the active square uh, which it was forced away from by black playing knight to h5 uh, here uh, wesley so plays queen to b6 creating a battery and attacking the f7 pawn immediately uh, caruana replies with e4 striking in the center and defending uh, f2 uh, indirectly or directly now because the queen was on c2 but it was blocked by the e pawn and it also it's a move that also emphasizes the strength of the g2 bishop on the long diagonal but here wesley finds a move which does more than bring him back into the into the game he plays the absolute best move to disrupt white's plan uh, on the king side and in the center and that's b3 uh, this move locks caruana's queen side and creates a permanent weakness on b2 and it also means that the b3 pawn will soon be a force to be reckoned with and after a takes b3 a takes b3 queen to e2 uh, this position is even even slightly better for black even though he was worse just a few moves ago but Wesley slips horribly again. The logical move here is definitely rook to a2. It's also the best move, immediately creating a possibility to double major pieces along the a-file and eventually provoking rook takes a2, which could create a passed pawn one square away from queening. Instead, Wesley so plays the weak bishop to a6, seemingly attacking the queen, but after it moves, its position has just improved and black wasted not one but two tempi because he's going to have to move the bishop from a6 in order to proceed with his plans. And Caruana simply replies with queen to f3, just improving the position of his queen and saying thanks very much. But here we have bishop to c4, now having to defend the d5 pawn. Rook takes a8, rook takes a8 and d6 a great energetic move and in this position f takes c6 is bad because white could reply with bishop to h3 threatening the knight with check after bishop takes e6 and black would be completely lost instead wesley so played the only move uh, d takes e4 and here uh, caruana replies with e takes f7 interposes a uh, zwischenzug bishop takes f7 and knight takes e4 and in this position it's clear that white is much much better his king is almost perfectly safe while black's king is completely naked black also has a weakness on c6 and rather awkwardly plays pieces which yet have to coordinate to create any sort of threat uh, and the only two good pieces are the bishop and the queen on c5 and b6 which are threatening the f2 pawn but it's now defended three times and that there isn't really too much threat they are they are creating uh, here Wesley so plays uh, bishop to d4 attacking the the b2 pawn knight takes d6 threatening of course knight takes f7 and after king takes f7 bishop c7 check winning the queen because it was it would uncover the queen attacking the king uh, here we have bishop to d5 and it it does seem that it's it's hard to see why this move is bad but it's bad. It seems to be attacking the queen and just gaining a tempo, but it was the losing move. It allows the subtle queen to e2, after which there is nothing black can do to defend his king. The bishop pair, the knight in the middle of black's position, and the queen and rook lined up on the e-file are a recipe for disaster and black didn't last too long. I find it hard to see the superiority of the position immediately, but Caruana saw it and he converts easily. Uh, here black is forced to play knight to f8 defending because the knight was attacked we have bishop takes d5 c takes d5 and now this once again subtle move and the killer blow by caruana queen to f3 the move which is threatening uh, d5 with check and grabbing the rook and black has to respond he plays qu uh, queen to a5 and now rook e7 uh, just the position is completely lost in this position wesley so resigned actually uh, just there isn't really too many sample continuations which i could show you just to show you how dominant white is black's best move was apparently knight to d7 just giving a piece and then giving up the queen with queen to a1 queen to g1 check and so forth and so forth the unstoppable threat white has is bishop to h6 and after that queen to f7 with a mate on h7 soon to follow and Whatever Black does, he can't prevent it. And there is 
there's no good moves, there's no way to defend, all the pieces are away from the defense of the king, the king is completely naked and, and black doesn't really have any threats, the only thing he has is, is a check on a1, but after queen to g2, that's it, that's it. And in this position Angus already announced mate, and after queen f3 a few moves ago, it, the position was about plus 15, if you ask the engines for, for white. Anyway, with this game, Caruana is off to a great start in the candidates, and the win in round one with, will surely be a tremendous boost to his self-confidence in the games to follow. And Wesley now has to compose himself and lo not let this defeat crush him psychologically. If he does manage that, he will have a. If he doesn't manage that, he will have a hard time focusing tomorrow in round two, and he might repeat the same mistakes again. And I expect Caruana to do really well with the black pieces after this uh, boost, confidence boost. Alright everyone, thanks for watching and see you soon for more coverage of the 2018 candidates. And bye, enjoy!